I have a new job here. This is uh, from the great 2017 Santa Rosa firestorm. This is a this pile of shards used to be a cookie jar, and we're going to try to turn it back into a cookie jar again. So. There's not a whole lot we can do with this. I mean, as far as restoration, it would cost a lot of money for something that's only worth about $20, and you can run out and get a replacement. But it is now an artifact of that horrific event that happened here, and the owner wants to keep it as a memento. And so we're going to reassemble uh, this object, and uh, it will live as a testimony to the kind of heat and horror that happened on that night last October. So that's what we're going to do today is uh, glue this together and then um, we'll see what we have. Uh, hopefully there won't be too many large missing pieces. If there are, I'll fill them with something that's almost the same color. And there will be no redecoration or very little, if any, or none cosmetic work on this when it's done and we'll see what we end up with all right
It's crumbling on me. And the cracks all through this thing. cracked it badly and, and then it melted the glaze and the glaze seeped into the cracks and re-cemented some of it and uh, but just enough to hold it in some places and So it's like the entire thing is this perforated sectional shattered thing and it just keeps getting smaller and smaller. The pieces keep getting smaller and smaller. So Put a little tape on your broken heart. If only a broken heart were so easy to repair. corners here. It might make it harder to get this piece in. I'm going to wait on that.
Okay, so now we're going to have these four large pieces to assemble around this base. And that's what we'll do next. I've decided to put this piece in and we'll have three big pieces to put together because uh, I just had a quick look at it and, and I realized that uh, in the rehearsal build this wouldn't fit in right It'll be too difficult to get in if I don't do it now. So, and even that's going to be a tight fit. So now we're going to have three big pieces to put together around the base. And I'm going to let this set up, let the glue on these three pieces set up for a little bit before I attempt putting this together. And we'll be back shortly to complete that step. Whew, boy, that was something. Okay, now, do we put this one on last or the other one on last? That's a big piece.
Whew, boy. Amazing, we have almost all of this cookie jar. You have to remember this thing was pulled out of a burnt down house. There was no house left. I mean, it was completely consumed. There was nothing but an empty lot full of burnt debris. And they actually found this cookie jar and all the pieces, uh, except for the lid. So it's just amazing that they even found this. And, uh, and, and all the pieces are here. It's just mind-boggling. All right, so we've got to <laughs> wedge this puppy in there, and we are just going to be able to make it here. Okay. Okay. left our little chips missing here and there and uh, a really really burnt piece of ceramic off my excess glue here and we are done for the day on this object just to set it aside now and let this glue cure and as I said we will not be doing cosmetic work on this we're not going to redecorate it or repaint it or anything so um, but I will fill any chips and cracks and um, I'm going to make it functional and it's going to be a, a, a monument to the Sonoma County firestorm. 
And I'm pretty sure this black in here, there were probably cookies in this jar when a few when the cookie when the no house burnt down and this rolled over on its side and the cookie the carbon in the sugar of the cookies mixed in with the glaze that was already soft or melting and it even came through on this side where it melted through the glaze and you'll be able to see this better when I take the tape off but there's a real interesting blue-black glaze here from that sugar and uh, so okay so now I'm just gonna fill some of these chips and voids <clears throat> I'm not going to go crazy on it and try to fill every crack. I'm just going to fill um, obvious missing pieces. And I'm using Milliput Epoxy Putty to do that fill. Side looks okay. All right, that's. We'll set that aside. Let this harden. I'll we'll come back and sand it. And I think at that point we may be done. Okay, so here's the cookie jar, all done. As far as we're going to take it. filed down the fills that I did on the last clip and uh, so this is it this is what the customer wants they don't want to restore this as far as cosmetics or anything 